Kastabi Show is a game show where celebrities compete to title Kastabi paintings for cash awards. And tonight's contestants are the painter and author of a book called 750 Standard Painting Titles, John Zinser. <laughs> Art critic, editor, and the style guy for GQ, Glenn O'Brien. Yeah. <laughs> Art critic and editor of the paper magazine, Carl McCormick. Yeah. Now, let's look at the first painting that needs a title. This one, uh, obviously, is a commission for a factory called Marau. What should we call, call this painting? How about divine branding? Nice. like it. I love it. Very appropriate. Can uh, the other contestants offer? The Love Factory. <laughs> Makes sense. And John Zinser. Angelic Productivity. Mm -hmm. Also good. Can I buy Angelic Productivity by John Zinser for $20? Okay. Can I buy The Love Factory by Glenn O'Brien for $20? Oh, I thought that was And. Divine Branding by Carl McCormick for $20. Is that worth $20? Uh, that was $40. $40. Divine Branding. Let's get on to some cone business. Two cone chairs. One is a perch for a lonely figure, perhaps, while he is looking at the other cone chair designed by which designer Penton. for twenty dollars? Penton. Who said Vernon Penton? Lisa Rosen. Twenty dollars for Lisa Rosen. Vernon Penton is correct. And the other Werner Penton cone chair is um, a home to a flip open cell phone while a sphere of perfection rests nearby. Mark? Looks like he's waiting for a call, right? Yes, I was actually going to call it call waiting. Is that too obvious? That would work. That would work. Uh, and now let's see what uh, Glenn O'Brien was actually going to call it. The double dip. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that is very amusing. I like it. And John Zinser is also in the house. I was going to call it uh, my best friend's girl. <laughs> That's good, too. Can I buy it? My best friend's girl. Yes. Uh, by John yes. Sensor, that was 20? Yes, 40. 40 almighty dollars to John Sensor for my best friend's girl. I really like this painting. <laughs> Not only because of that orange cat rubbing up against that love scene at the lower left. I mean, that's my favorite part. But it also is a meditation about the art market and recent art history. 20th century art history, to be precise, with the reference to the Coons vacuum cleaner, the Warhol Brillo bat box, the Warhol Coke bottle, the Marcel Duchamp urinal sculpture called Fountain in the Bathroom. It's about home, home improvement, probably, That's a great right? Title. Glenn, do you have a title for this picture? Yes, I do, Mark. What would that be, Glenn? The Great Hangman. <laughs> nice. Nice, nice. And what do we have from Carla McCormick or John Zinser? Mark, I hate to say that. I think I had I had a title, but I I thought Home Improvement that you suggested was pretty good, Mark. Yeah, that's good. We can use that. You can you can appropriate that. And John Zinser, your title is the new consumables. That's good. Also great. First, let's vote on Carlo's title, Home Improvement by Carlo McCormick. Is that worth $20? Yes, it is. $40 to Carlo McCormick. Home and now we have a painting featuring another kind of improvement that caused by giant scissors who cut unnecessary hair. <laughs> Any further analysis by Mike Cockrell or Lisa? I like the way the female figure has almost a halo from the scissors um, down down below in the foreground. There's a halo for that's, it. 
That were, that's worth five dollars. <laughs> Thank you, Lisa. And now, on to the luminaries to title the picture of the red guy hovering over the reclining white woman while scissors are cutting big hair in the background. This is, uh, this is yeah, like kind of like you're painting my nightmares here. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, but, you've got all that glorious long hair. I guess you, I, I would back. offer that Crosby, Stills, and Nash title almost cut my hair. Today. Today. Is that the I, full title? Oh. If I were Glenn O'Brien, I would be intimidated by that great title. Of course, I'm not Glenn O'Brien, and he's not intimidated. Not easily. Right, Glenn? Not no, easy. if you were me, Mark, you'd be wondering why you were here. <laughs> okay, John Zinser, what do you got? Uh, don't fear the shearer. <laughs> oh, that's good. Mark? All right. Mark? Yeah. Simon. Could we have a little more analysis? Because there seems to be an erotic element to this painting that everybody's sort of overlooking. I was also okay. thinking about Samson and Delilah, right? Oh, That's yeah. got that thing as well. Yeah, but it, 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 the, the central figure with the, the, with the blade coming out of his crotch is very, very reminiscent of a, a sexually excited male. Yikes. <laughs> you mean Jack the Ripper? No. Doesn't have to Jack be. the Clipper. That's a good one, Glenn. Oh. 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 That's a good one. Oh. Glenn's got a good one. Carl no, that's Glenn's. Yeah. Glenn, Glenn O'Brien offered Jack the Clipper. Forty almighty dollars to Glenn O'Brien for Jack the Clipper. <laughs> Look at these figures with hidden agendas on their laps. Toasting while... It's got to be a T word that refers to what they're doing under the table. Text it. Can I try one? Yes, you can, Carla. What would that be? A social calculation. Nice. And uh, now this painting is a little bit like a movie, structurally. It's got the main theme over on the middle and the left, and it's got supporting actors in the foreground right and in the background. Further have, intrigue going on the sideline. I have a title mark. What would that be, Glenn? Accounting for taste. Oh, very <laughs> nice. And what do we have from John Zinser? I'll, I'll go with the theme of hypocrisy and say ever cordial. Oh, very good. Nice. Can I buy ever cordial by John Zinser for $20? Quite possibly. But we have... Glenn O'Brien, could you repeat your title, Glenn? Accounting for Taste. Accounting for Taste by Glenn O'Brien. Is that worth $20? Yeah. Uh, yeah. $20 to, no, $40 to Glenn O'Brien. <laughs> I'm not going to analyze this picture. So, someone in the front row of the blue table could do a better job. Right, Mike? All right. <laughs> I love this uh, movie. It's one of my favorite movies. Um, so, okay, so Dorothy is on. Oh, yeah, so you have to shop online now. So if you want a heart, he's looking for a brain, a heart, a courage, her house. She needs a home. Behind the curtain, we still have the curtains there, too, So, uh, which is cool. So, so That's uh, cool. The curtains are cool. So Five dollars to my cockerel for his uh, announcement. It's an update of the Wizard of Oz. The Wizard has become. Uh, and now shopping for the, yes, the, the necessary ingredients the online. The Wizard has become a. And do we have the uh, of titles by the Luminary? I have a title mark. What would that be, Glenn? Click on the yellow brick road. <laughs> yeah. Brilliant. Click on the yellow brick road. It's got the twenty dollar bill goes to. Glenn O'Brien for click on the yellow brick road. Let's study this painting, which shows two female nudes languishing on a desert island with all their new, newly acquired luxury goods, while the guy is uh, caressing the bottle, which he found in the water. 
They're stuck. They got them. They got everything they need except space. They've got a little island. And there are ominous storm clouds arriving from the distance. It's going to ruin everything for them. Any further analysis? Five dollars to Marcus Stavi for that. That's brilliant. a good one, Marcus. <laughs> 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 yes, Glenn. Uh, lost royalties. Oh. oh, that's so good. Okay, let's also consider we have two other geniuses. Embarrassment of riches. Oh, good. That's good too. And then we turn to Carla McCormick. I don't know. Distant shores. Distant shores. Okay, that's good too. Can we buy it? Embarrassment of Riches by John Zinsa for $20. Yes. Possibly, quite possibly. And Glenn O'Brien, yours was? Lost Royalties. Lost Royalties. Love it. Great. Cynical. It refers to publishing. It's a tie. And Carla, yours was? Distant Shores. Distant Shores. Is that worth $20? Okay. I'm going to be the tie tiebreaker. And what, I'm going to go with time? Lost Royalties by Glenn O'Brien for $20. <laughs> Good thing you broke that tie. Yeah. This poor guy underneath the big purple telephone. Looks like a girl. From a few <laughs> decades ago while he's contemplating a little cell phone from one decade ago. <laughs> I have a title more. What would that be, Glenn? First, can we clarify if this is a male or a female? Because uh, Lisa and I seem to think it's a female. It's a female. It's a female. Okay. Yeah, or else it's a man with very big boobs. <laughs> okay. So my title is "She's Off the Hook." Wow. Yeah. Can I buy "She's Off the Hook" by Glenn O'Brien for twenty almighty dollars? Glenn Ross. Twenty dollars. Because yes. Louis took away his other twenty. I I okay. got one. You asked for it. You got it. What do we got, Carl? I call this one knee-high anxiety. Nice. Yeah. Implying that the Kiriko uh, it, it was bringing in the anxiety. Mm -hmm. That's so high. Anything from Glenn? Uh, yes. And Stre uh, Streetwalker. Nice. Mike, would you like to add some analysis? Okay. I love the red on her behind. And so, That's and not worth five dollars. No, but <laughs> I was going to say... She's in the red zone. I, I I think it's red zone. I just think that she's in a red zone. Now, to John Zinsert, your title is? Well, uh, thanks to Mike. I just need a little something. I'm, he gave me a kernel, and I'm going to say, all signals are red. Can I buy all signals are red by John Zinsert, inspired by Mike Cockrell, for $20? No. Street Walker, can I buy that by Glenn O'Brien? I know Lisa likes it. Street Walker, very possibly. And Carla, your title was? Knee-high anxiety. Knee-high anxiety. That's good. That's really good. Can I? Oh, I'm surprised. You know, Streetwalker is the title. Glenn O'Brien. We have a woman sitting alone in a cafe, literary cafe, <laughs> or maybe it's a cyber cafe, and she's, you know, back in the 1985 instead of people in the back there and an angel's trying to get in while two slumped over figures are walking by in the foreground do we have a title am i wrong to read that also as perhaps a mirror uh, kind of a, a, a reference I to self-reflection her, her angelic reflection yeah she, uh, yeah well i think you're right because both the angel and the woman reading the book are searching for something right so at least metaphorically, so I, it's a mirror. I would call it the company of self-reflection. Beautiful. Glenn O'Brien or Scott John Zinson. Inspiration arrives. Also good. John Zinson. The blind future. Also good. Let's switch over to Carla McCormick and vote on... The company of self-reflection. Is that worth $20? Yeah. $40 for Charles McCormick for the company of self-reflection. Yes, I do, Mark. 
<laughs> what would that be, Glenn? The Chains of Freedom. That's an interesting. Yeah. Oh, that's so good. How ironic. Carla, do you have anything even better than that? Well, not yet. That's pretty good. Okay, have, that's really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're on the same page. Okay, John, sin, sir. Liberation's Shadow. Also good. But first, let's vote on The Chains of Freedom. Bye. Glenn O'Brien. That's a true unanimous 40. 40 almighty dollars. A, a, a totally a free. That means fifty dollars. Yes, Lisa, fifty almighty dollars. Whoever can title this painting, which depicts. The two families, this time, the rich family eating the, the Norman Rockwell S. turkey, seem like they're in an oven. <laughs> it's warm in there. Any further analysis? Well, clearly the, the two kids are making a connection, and it really seems like a comment on poverty. There's hope in the future, you know, that there's, there's hope if, if people, if the kids can work out. Like, if only the kids were in charge. Well, I don't want to step on that, but it looks like to me that regardless, it kind of taking what he's saying, but the, the rich kid has to escape also. Both children are escaping their background. There's a poverty in the back, there's a, the poor kid, the kid coming from the poor background, is freeing herself through her art, and the kid is in the oven of wealth, is also freeing himself with the butterflies. So neither one, but it is a hope of the kids towards the future and, and escaping what, you know, maybe a social condition. So art is hope. Yeah. Okay, can we title the picture now? Yes, Glenn, yeah. Class what would that be, Glenn? Class is out. Ooh, that's good. Yes! That's oh good. My God. That's, that? that's probably worth 50 bucks. But that's we, probably we have a game show here, and we're competing. What do we have from Carlo or John? I, that was so good. I, I hate to, to throw in the towel, but I can't imagine like coming up with anything so pithy myself. That's because he you've might been get involved your whole life with class struggle, Carlo. I know it's true. I like he, he can he can laugh at it. I'm I still got all my class rage. <laughs> oh. <laughs> all right. So you're conceding. I'm conceding until I come up with something better. Okay. All right. Well, is John Zinser going to throw won't in the towel? I won't not, not that easy. Towel? He's not that easy. Uh, hey, feast, famine, forgiveness. Nice. Nice. Let's vote on that first. For $50, can I buy it? Feast, famine, forgiveness by John Zinser. It's really great. Three objections, though. Now, can I buy it for 50 or perhaps $100? Ooh. Class is out. 100 almighty dollars to Glenn O'Brien. Class is out. You might have to give me that 40 you won off my title before. <laughs> <laughs> now, this painting is not so bad either. We have a painting inspired by which futurist? Bella. Who? Bella. Who? $20 to Simon Sirigo. Dr. Obama is correct. And we have a piano trio. I guess it could be a drum trio or a bass trio, but I happen to know this is a piano trio performing music within a futurist vortex. Any titles? I'm probably misreading it again, but it, it looks like the, the, the bass player is, is, is kind of being conjured in a dream to me, you know, so I call it imaginary accompaniment. Yeah, or imaginary support. Imaginary support, much better, Mark. Mm. I like accompaniment. No, oh, no, never mind. They know better. Doing their solo. Okay. Accompaniment. Uh, what do we have from Glenn or John? Uh... In the key of the future. Hi. John Simpson, what do we have for you? Syncopated reason. Yeah. 
Syncopated Reason. Syncopated Reason. All great titles. Let's vote. Can I buy it? Syncopated Reason by John Zinsser. Uh, I think possible. I'm going to do it. $20 to John Zinsser. <laughs> Somebody asked for more variations on this. I did. I, careful what you wish for, huh? Yeah, you will get it. On, on the Kastabi show, you will get what you wish for. Wow, what would you wish to title this picture, Carl? <coughs> See, I don't know. I've, I've struck out every time so far. I feel like I should go back and retread the other ones. Like knee hang, knee high anxiety study in stilettos. Uh, never mind. <laughs> Let All them right. go. She knows how to use them. John Zinsser. Fetish Crossroads. Okay, and now back to Carla. You want to you want to reoffer one of your previous yeah. offerings? The way she looked when she gave me the boot. <laughs> oh. Can I buy it? The way she looked when she gave me the boot by Carla. <laughs> Come on, you know that's good. Dollars. It's possible. Lisa's objection and, uh, aside, that was great. She knows how to use them by Glenn O'Brien for By ZZ Top. This time, it does not look like you're going to take that $20 bill. John Zinsser, your title is? Fetish Crossroads. Is that worth $20? Fetish Crossroads? Is that a tie with Carlo? Could we just re-vote on that one again to be sure? Uh, can I buy that title for $20? Uh, See, clearly yes. Twenty dollars to Carlo McCormick. We have another version of this uh, broken ceiling painting. I don't know if you guys have ever had this experience, but I've had my ceiling fall through in New York City before. Wow. When I lived in Hell's Kitchen back in uh, 1983. So this painting is autobiographical for me. So I'd like to call it. The landlord wants to charge more for the skylight. <laughs> so true. So true. And that's a great title, but we also have Glenn O'Brien and John Zinsser in the room. Yes, I Glenn? do, Mark. <laughs> what, what would that be, Glenn? The duplex of doom. Oh, that's so New York Post. I love it. And John Zinsser. No exit. That's great, too. That's very daily news. Can I buy it? No Exit by John Zinsser for $20. Okay, can I buy <laughs> Duplex of Doom by Glenn O'Brien? Oh, right. That looks like it's $20 what it, what it to Glenn O'Brien for Duplex of Doom. <laughs> okay, we have a melancholy figure in a metaphysical piazza contemplating which Rubik's Cube to manipulate or to figure out. Any further analysis by Louis, Lisa, or Mike? Well, if Michel Gondry were here, he would be doing it with his feet. Mm. Yeah, he, he's the only guy I know who can solve a Rubik's Cube with his feet. Mm -hmm. wow. Pretty good. Okay, now, to the luminaries, do we have a title? Rubik's Crapshoot. <laughs> <laughs> Carla or John? I would call it the enigma of architecture. Okay, and John Zinsser? Personality complex. Yeah. Oh, Can I buy it? Personality complex by John Zinsser for $20? 40. 40 almighty dollars. John <laughs> we have another variation of Edward Hopper's summer in the city. This time, there's a spilled cup what city on is the that? floor, obviously by it's the, it's the guy's cup. Hey, can you zoom in on what the guy's doing with his hands? He is operating a um, portable telephone, an iPhone or something like that, and she has a television remote control in her hand, and they are alienated. The guy's cup is spilled. Venice in the background, full of meaning, this painting. Any further analysis, Mike Cockrell, perhaps? Well, you did a good job. I mean, yeah, you pointed out all of those little touches. Uh, 
I had an immediate impulse with this that had more to do with the uh, tactile, technological aspect of it. I'm going to say Tender Buttons. Tender Button? That's Good. the title of a Gertrude Stein play, and I think it wow. uh, relates to this. That gives us some art historical weight, also. Thank you. <laughs> Even if he doesn't win, he okay. should get some money for the analysis. That was great. Okay. For the All information. Right. We can give him five dollars right away. Five dollars to John Zinfer for his analysis. Thank you so much. Okay, now, Carla or Glenn. <laughs> Well, I do feel $5 wiser from that. I'm glad you paid him. Uh, how about a difficult channel crossing? Oh, that's beautiful. And Glenn O'Brien. Uh, yes, I, I feel there's a, a, an existential dread here. Uh, so I think it's waiting for Conan. <laughs> They're waiting for him to come back, and he may... You know he likes those TV references. It's, uh, I think Conan oh. is the new uh, Godot. I have a, okay, can I buy Waiting for Conan by Glenn O'Brien for $20. Definitely. Oh, so sorry, Glenn. I loved it. Okay, Carlos. It is It's good. only because... <laughs> Don't feel bad, what? Mark. What? <laughs> I love Waiting for Conan, but I'm going to go with New York City, uh, the jury, okay? Carla, your title was... A difficult channel crossing. Can I buy a difficult channel crossing, which I must admit is more profound. Wait, we have to do buttons. And mo all, almost all of New York likes it. Notice how Charles is concealing his identity when he votes red. <laughs> okay, uh, now we have um, John Zinser in the house. John? That's true. I suggested tender buttons. Can I buy tender button by John Zinser? It's another tie. Another time for you to make an okay. executive decision, Mark. To Carlo, I'm going to go with yours. Thank you, Mark. Sorry, John. But.